just want to take a few moments and talk to us this morning about the beauty of Jesus as the servant of all. John chapter 13 is um, a familiar passage. It's a passage where Jesus is washing the feet of his disciples. Jesus reveals himself as the servant of all, servant to his people. Jesus is revealing to his disciples the revelation and the extent of the vastness of his love for the people of God. The very extent to which God would go and the very extent to which to which God has gone for love is what is being revealed right there in John chapter 13. It is absolutely vital that we enter into this proclamation of Jesus, this revealing of Jesus as the servant of all. The receiving of the revelation of God's love is absolutely essential for a life of abandonment. It fuels our hearts with courage. It fuels our hearts with, with strength. It is absolutely vital that we enter into this proclamation of Jesus, this revealing of Jesus as the servant of all. Jesus got up from the supper table to serve his disciples with the full knowledge of who it is that he was. The God who is clothed with light as a garment, he got up from the place of communion. He took off the garments of light and he clothed himself with garments of humanity. And he began to reveal the very humility of the Godhead. Sean Devine. Can I think of anything more stunning than the uncreated God? No beginning, no end, no form, nothing outside of Him. He has always been everything that lives, moves, and has its existence in His being. There's nothing greater than him. He is the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning, the end. The angels around the throne, they declare, holy, holy, holy. All they can do is describe the transcendence of his majesty, his indescribable beauty, his indescribable greatness is all they can declare around the throne of God. And the most unthinkable reality takes place that the God who has no form, who dwells in light, unapproachable, who clothes himself with light as a garment, that he would become a man and dwell among us. He goes and he begins to pour water into a basin and he begins to wash the feet of his disciples. For Jesus to do this, this is absolutely outrageous. What kind of God does this? And he began to reveal the very humility of the Godhead. There is a kneeling God, the Son of God, who is at our feet on his knees longing to wash us and longing to serve us. The only way he will be our king is if we let him be our servant. He told Peter, he says, Peter, if you do not let me serve you, you cannot have any part of me. The only way he will be our king is if we let him be our servant. The only way he will be our king is if we let him be our servant. I need you to serve me. Lord, I open my spirit to you. I need you to come and, and wash my spirit with your word. I need you to come and to wash my spirit with your love. I need you to come and to wash my spirit with your precious blood. I need you to wash my spirit with the power of your grace that I can walk in a, way that, in a manner that is pleasing to you.